And hello everyone, this is Digital Trends Live. I'm Greg Nibbler and it is Wednesday, which means it's time for TBD. What does that mean? I don't know, we're gonna find out together. Let's introduce our hosts for TBD. First off, we have Jess Serba. Jess, hello, how are you doing? Hey Greg, I'm, I'm doing well, how about yourself? I'm doing great, doing good. Uh, excited to talk about whatever we're gonna be bringing up here today. And of course, we have Adrian Warner as well. Hello, Adrian. Hi Greg, how's it going? Doing well, doing good. What are we talking about today? All right, well, TBD stands for something different every week. And this week's TBD is, drum roll, TV Bird Delights, because we're gonna be talking about <laughs> the launch of Peacock. <laughs> Um, and all TV of the things. bird delights. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Not to be confused with the TV dinner, turkey dinner that you eat in front of the television. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I have to ask before we jump in, Greg, are you planning on downloading Peacock? You know, I tend to download all of them when they start. I mean, I, what I'll do is I'll download it and I'll keep it as long as the free subscription lasts, whatever the trial version is. Like I canceled Quibi two days before the 90 days was up. Um, so yeah, probably, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't know yet. That's fair. I um, am not so good about canceling free things. I always forget <laughs> when it's starting to wrap up. That's my bad, but um, I'm going to get into some of the pricing. Yeah, so there is actually a free model. Um, so just to back up a little bit, we're getting yet another streaming service uh, to be added to our growing list of choices. NBC's Peacock is going to be available for download today. It's owned by Comcast and NBC Universal. So if you already had Comcast, if you were a cable subscriber, you already had access to Peacock since April 15th. But for the rest of the US, you can officially sign up today. Uh, it does come with a seven day free trial. So if you wanna try it out, you've got a week to check out what's on the platform. Um, and when you sign up, there's a couple of different tiers of available beyond that seven days. So you get a free tier, which is actually pretty remarkable. Um, it is limited. You only get about two thirds of the library of content and you do get ads, but this is one of the only streaming services that is offering this. Um, or you can unlock their full library of shows for their all-inclusive tier. That's $4.99 a month and it does include ads. If you wanna go to the premium tier, you can go to $9.99 a month and go completely ad-free. So if you get that seven day free trial, um, that does include the premium tier and that'll give you access to everything ad free. So if you wanna download Peacock, uh, you can go to a couple different devices. Um, you have Apple and Google devices. If you sign up on a Google platform like Android or Android TV, you can extend your free trial until uh, October 15th, which is very cool. Um, Peacock, but will not be available on every device though. So um, <clears throat> if you sign up uh, through uh, other devices, um, you might have to wait. PS4 and PS4 Pro are gonna have to wait a week. If you have you know, a smart TV such as Vizio or LG, you will get access to it right away. Um, the one thing though that we're seeing is that there's no distribution deal for some of the really major streaming services out there, streaming platforms out there such as Roku and Fire TV. So we're seeing a similarity to how HBO Max rolled out. There's no plan in place for Peacock to appear on those platforms, which is pretty remarkable because they make up about 70% of all of the streaming devices out there. Um, um, which means they're leaving out a big chunk of the market. So we're going to have to see how it performs. But either way, Peacock is going to be offering a lot of really awesome content from, you know, NBC's entire roster of really, really great shows to a lot of new content. And I'm going to kick it over to Jess to tell you what you can uh, watch if you sign up today. Yeah, Adrian, there's, I mean, there's a, I wasn't actually totally sure, you know, about the different, different original series and it, it looks pretty exciting. So first of all, we have uh, Angeline, which features a completely unrecognizable Emmy Rossum. Um, the history here is that in the 80s, Angeline made a name for herself in Hollywood by modeling suggestively in a series of billboards only featuring her name and photo. Uh, it, it caused a conundrum of attention because no one truly knew why or where it came from. It's kind of like the original self-made like Kardashian fame, if you will. Um, 
archival footage of the model was recreated and weaved throughout the series, including scenes of Ross imposing inside a recreation of Angeline's famous car, a pink Corvette. Um, you, you can't even, like, I couldn't figure out actually who it was uh, playing Angeline. So definitely something to check out. Uh, up next, we have Brave New World, which I like to describe this as kind of like a chic Black Mirror episode. It's based on uh, Aldous Huxley's 1932 novel of free love and social control. Uh, to quote, it's a dystopia dressed up as a utopia. And I could not find a better description of this show than, the, than an article that the New York Times currently has live. So to share it with you, it says, imagine a society that has solved the problems of overpopulation and environmental collapse. Crime is a non-issue as is homelessness and hunger. Racism, sexism, homophobia, sorted. Science has conquered disease and disability. Everyone has useful work, perfect skin, total emotional equilibrium. Every day is a pleasure. Every night is a party. Pop quiz. Is this a paradise or a prison? Like, how can you not watch this show after reading that, right? Uh, basically, <laughs> everyone is everyone's. Everything is everything. It's beautiful, but dark. Uh, there's an endless supply of Soma, which is a feel-good drug that everyone pops like candy. So essentially, the original premise is that two of the characters take a holiday away to a place called Savage Lands, a place where they can play out things of the old, like marriage and consumerism. Um, things go wrong, and they have to escape. And one of the characters and his mom, played by a blonde Demi Moore, uh, go back to New London with them. And then things sort of explode from there. So again, really, really, really interesting premise um, that I'm excited to check out. Next up is The Capture. So this series actually imported from the UK. According to NBC, it's a conspiracy thriller that looks at the troubling world of fake news and the extraordinary capabilities of the intelligence services. A British soldier gets his conviction for a battlefield killing in Afghanistan overturned due to flawed video evidence based on camera technology. So he's released, but then CCTV footage appears showing him on a train platform with a woman, the very lawyer that got him released. And they're kissing and kind of canoodling, but the shocking part is that it then shows him beating her before he departs. So he's brought in for questioning and he's literally watching the video and going, this did not happen. How did you make this video? Why did you create this? And so it's, it's kind of explores how to the story of, you know, how technology can be used to manipulate the truth. Um, again, really relevant really interesting i'm really excited to check that one out um some of the fun ones are like a reboot of punky brewster uh and then my favorite everyone's classic favorite saved by the bell uh it's glorious in the trailer uh mario lopez is a gym teacher and there's a moment where he's talking to these two boys that just got into a fight and he's like you know when i was in high school i used to constantly fight with my best friend over a hot girl and then he's like oh it was actually your dad over your mom and it's Zach Morris's child, clearly. And then he's like, he looks at the other guy and he's like, you know, then I just found another girl that I really liked instead. And I started being with her. And then he's like, oh, that was your mom. So it's like lots of really great throwbacks. Um, I Rumor has it that the original, you know, Zach and Kelly will appear for a few episodes. So that's enough for me to definitely um, check this one out. I It's not available yet, but it, it should be shortly coming out. So... I will be watching that one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you had me at chic black mirror, but also yeah. um, I think you should it's have like some kind of phone service. For... Black mirror this week. <laughs> right. I think that uh, you should have some kind of phone service where people can call up like, I don't know what's new on Netflix. And it's just you giving your descriptions of what's <laughs> going on, of what each, each series is. Uh, yeah, there's something, there's something to that. All right. Fantastic. So that is again, uh, Peacock, out excellent job but now we need to get to kick stop it which what do we have this week that's right so this week we have an iot dog collar called pet pulse uh as our kick stop it um this is a device that is supposed to measure the uh emotional well-being of your dog so it's you the dog wears it and then it connects to your phone and lets you know you know are they happy are they sad what do they need uh are you communicating <laughs> with them enough how's their life going kind of just like a general wellness check-in for your dog um 
it doesn't explain anywhere how this actually works. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was, that was my first question. Like, how does it know the dog is happy or whatever's going on? There are on? definitely other devices on the market that are similar to this that I believe measure, you know, a dog's, um, like both temperature and heart rate, like when the dog gets excited, you know, its heart rate elevates and that means it's potentially either happy or scared. Um, I, I feel <laughs> like I'm pretty good at knowing my own dog's emotions, but you know, for those that maybe need to clue in a little bit more, you can get pet bulls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it. Jess, what do you think about it? Well, it says it utilizes, um, voice recognition technology to analyze the dog's emotional well-being and i just don't understand what that means <laughs> i guess yeah, maybe I'm, I'm looking at it right now I, i'm not getting <laughs> what if your dog doesn't speak that often like i'm not 100 percent on board here um i usually i'm not sure if i want to know only... what the dog is thinking <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it <laughs> I feel like usually, sorry, go ahead. I feel like usually when Charlie's barking that, you know, he's pretty angry or upset. So <laughs> I don't know if I want to rely yeah. on voice recognition technology to know what I already know. Yeah. Just, All right. Well, let's decide here. Oh, Jess, go ahead. Sorry. If this was like brainwave technology where it could be like, this is kind of the thought pattern that your dog had or something like that, then I could get on board. But I don't understand the voice test, so this is a kick stop it for me. Kick stop it for Jess. Adrian, what about you? Yeah, I'm gonna say kick stop it because it's it's just not quite high tech enough. However, I do really love the name, Pet Pulse. Very yeah. cute. The name's great. Yeah, I'm kick stopping it as well because I don't think I wanna know what the dog is thinking constantly. <laughs> That's way too much, way too much for me. I can figure it out on my own. But all right, that is it. there it is. That is our kick stop at Pet Pulse. And there is one final thing to TBD, and that is Charlie Kim. That's right. Let's, let's end on this magnificent dog that we all know. <laughs> His Pet Pulse is pretty happy right now. He is <laughs> eagerly awaiting a treat because he is a very good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those ears, Adrian. Oh, look at him. He's my oh, Charlie. Charlie Cam. Well, Adrian, Jess, another great edition of TBD. Thank you. I will talk to you both soon. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Greg.